G'day and hello there beautiful people, it is Mimo here and I'm back for something a little bit different. I don't usually do character reviews on the channel, I've done a few here and there and it seemed to spark enough interest on the channel and enough interest in those watching that I thought I might make it a regular segment. But please do let me know if you actually want this to be a regular segment or not. But we'll move into what the video is about and that is this Revive Counter which is their big, I guess, promotional headline to try and get you to throw your money at this character and that is the Road to Survival number one Sandy as you'll see here. Now just before I actually start reviewing this character I'd like to say on behalf of everyone that owns a green Revive Herschel um, screw you Scopely and we all give you a big middle finger when it comes to this character and I will explain why in just a sec other than her being alert but I myself own two Herschel so this character is a big kick in the guts for me and the reason being that revive counter which they're so highly promoting and trying to get you to throw your money at is not only in her adrenaline rush so that's bad enough she's got a revive counter but she's also got the one specialty skill like Co Scopely likes to do in I guess ridiculous and crazy fashion double up on the OP-ness of every character if it's not bad enough she has that run revive counter you move over to a specialty skill or a specialist skill as they put it up there and that is decapitate when she basically lands the killing blow then that enemy cannot be revived so that's you know sort of throwing it back in the revives face which is sort of nice because we've had for so long the revives and shields that have dominated I guess the game overall and now they're starting to get it thrown back in their face which isn't overly that bad like I said but the fact that she doubles up on this whole revive counter is sort of annoying and like I said anyone that owns a green character is like I hate this character already I personally have a green dominant roster so I'm like I hate this character already but then I owned two green revive Herschels, so the hate factor gets up even more and I'm just like oh god I hope no one in my region gets this chick god I hope not because they are gonna slaughterhouse my team basically with her which is very very scary for me as a green lover and I guess green what would I be? I, I don't know. Stomper? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I love my greens and I use them a lot. So it's really, really hard to see this happening. And like I said, when you do own two green Herschels, you're sort of crying inside at this character. Now, not only does she have the decapitate, but you move on to her adrenaline rush, which is a 56 AP. So fairly, you know, not the 45 we all hope for, but 56 isn't that bad. Two AP quicker than my revive Herschel so you know what I'm a bit cringy inside about that and I'm like mmm I don't like that at all I do not like that at all but she deals a 425% damage and 100% heal reduction to up to two enemies for two turns which basically means you ain't reviving two dead characters because you cannot revive them because she's 100% heal so you can't heal that character you can't revive them um I don't like her I don't like her and I know everyone's going to put a stun gun on her. Don't put a stun gun on her. Okay, maybe you should put a stun gun on her to make her that bit more annoying and definitely that would help her stand up against all these blue dominant teams you have around and things like that because let's be honest throughout regions blues feature very heavily so in having a red you got to think of those sorts of things and stun gun is absolutely brilliant to counter those though in saying that I definitely would use this character more in an attacking purpose just because the odds are always in your favor when you're attacking and you're able to control things a bit more though in she would still be a great defensive player and on a great defense team depending on who you put beside her and things like that but definitely she's definitely be a great attacking player and you know nothing says that more than revive counter nothing people want more against these heavy revive teams and then you look at her stats there as you can see the HP's in the 1200 you got the attack in the almost 900 so she excels very heavily in those two departments they're actually quite high and compare really nicely to other characters and probably you know put some other characters to shame the defense is a bit lower at the 755 but still is enough to hold her pretty steady against those blues i guess one of the good things is that you're able to put you know hp on a weapon stun on a weapon you're able to boost it a bit more just to make it that bit harder to kill and overall like i said 
pretty good character pretty good character and it pains me to say that being I am a green lover myself but she is a good character and she's definitely worth the pull I will always say what I say when it comes to pulling and that is never pull beyond your means always only go as far as you can if you're one of the lucky ones that get her then you know please do let me know how she goes and how it is because I think she'll be a pretty beastly character honestly I think she'll be a beastly character so I'd like to hear the stories I'll live your game or oh, I'll live yeah, I'll live your game, I guess, or live the game through you, I guess, in a way, or live her through you. I don't know how you say it, but yeah, I'd love to actually hear about it. But definitely get, uh, yeah, Scope is going to make the money on this character. They're going to make the money. Um, I'll probably just leave it there. Sandy's a pretty nice quality character there. Definitely worth the pull. Um, if you did like that video, please do let me know. And as always, I do thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>